defendant's motion to vacate the judgment of conviction is granted. David Ranta was a man who was wrongfully convicted of murder in New York City in 1991 and spent nearly 23 years in prison before being exonerated. In 1990, a prominent Hasidic rabbi named Chaskel Wersberger was shot and killed during a botched robbery in Brooklyn, New York. David Ranta was arrested and subsequently convicted of the crime based on witness testimonies and circumstantial evidence, including alleged confessions. Years later, in 2011, a reinvestigation of the case by the Brooklyn District Attorney's Conviction Integrity Unit revealed serious flaws in the original investigation and prosecution. The Conviction Integrity Unit found that crucial evidence had been withheld from the defense, witnesses had been coerced, and misconduct had occurred during the trial. Additionally, the main witness who testified against Ranta recanted, stating that he had been pressured by the police to implicate Ranta. In light of the new evidence and revelations of misconduct, David Ranta's conviction was overturned in March 2013. He was released from prison after serving more than two decades for a crime he did not commit. Mr. Ranta, to say that I'm sorry for what you have endured would be an understatement and grossly inadequate but I say it to you anyway. The defendant's motion to vacate the judgment of conviction is granted. After being exonerated, David Ranta pursued a civil lawsuit against the city of New York seeking compensation for the 23 years he spent wrongfully imprisoned. In 2014, he reached a settlement with the city for $6.4 million. East Cleveland 3. These three men were wrongfully convicted of murder in East Cleveland, Ohio in 1996. They were accused of the 1995 shooting death of Clifton Hudson, a crime they consistently maintained they did not commit. After spending more than a decade in prison, Lorise Glover, Eugene Johnson, and Derek Wheat were released from prison in 2015. Their convictions were overturned based on the new evidence presented by the Ohio Innocence Project. These men saw the light after 19 years being in the prison for the crime they did not commit. Each man was compensated $5 million. In there for us, man. I want to um, thank the Innocent Project, this guy right here, because they believed in us, and this has been a long road. This is John Bunn. He spent 27 years in prison for the crime he never committed. In 1991, when he was only 14 years old, Bunn and a friend were arrested and charged with the murder of an off-duty correction officer named Rolando Neischer. Bunn's conviction was primarily based on the testimony of a witness who later recanted. Despite the lack of physical evidence tying Bunn to the crime and the inconsistencies in the case, he was convicted and sentenced to prison. In 2016, after spending nearly 17 years in prison for a crime he did not commit, John Bunn's conviction was finally overturned. I want y'all to know that y'all convicted and had a wrong man in prison. I want to say thank you, Your Honor, because in the 27 years, I've been fighting for my life. Before leaving the court, he had a moment with a judge. In 2018, the city of New York agreed to settle John Bunn's lawsuit for $9.75 million. This is Daniel Villegas, who spent more than 18 years in prison for the crime he did not commit. In 1993, when Villegas was just 16 years old, he was arrested and charged with the murders of two teenagers. Villegas confessed to the crime during a police interrogation. However, he later recanted his confession, alleging that it had been coerced by the police. Villegas was convicted in 1994 based primarily on his confession, despite the absence of physical evidence linking him to the crime. He was sentenced to life in prison. Over the years, Villegas maintained his innocence and sought to have his conviction overturned. His case gained attention from legal advocates and organizations dedicated to investigating wrongful convictions. Finally, in 2013, after spending more than 18 years in prison, Daniel Villegas was released from custody. That the verdict is in proper form. If the defendant will please stand. In the District Court of El Paso County, Texas, 409th Judicial District,
the state of Texas versus Daniel Villegas, number 940D09328. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Villegas, not guilty of... <laughs> He then hugged his lawyer and left the court as a free man. The terms of the settlement included a financial compensation package. However, specific details of the settlement, such as the exact amount of compensation, are typically subject to confidentiality agreements. This is Devante Sanford, who was wrongfully convicted of a quadruple homicide in Detroit, Michigan in 2007 when he was just 14 years old and spent nine years in prison. Sanford's conviction was primarily based on a confession he gave to the police, but there were significant concerns about the validity of his confession. Sanford had a learning disability, and his confession contained many inconsistencies with the known facts of the case. Additionally, there was no physical evidence linking him to the crime scene. In 2008, a hitman named Vincent Smothers confessed to the same quadruple homicide and provided details about the crime that were not public knowledge. Smothers had a history of involvement in multiple murders, and his confession was found to be credible. Despite Smothers' confession and the lack of evidence supporting Sanford's guilt, he remained in prison. It wasn't until 2016 that new evidence, including Smothers' confession, ballistics evidence, and the discovery of a real perpetrator's DNA at the crime scene, led to Sanford's exoneration. He was finally relieved and free. He said to the media that he never lost hope of getting out of prison one day. Following his release, Sanford has become an advocate for criminal justice reform, particularly for juvenile offenders and those with intellectual disabilities. Like, the hard part is over, you know? Like, the hardest part was getting me out of prison, you know? So, I think I'll be, I'll be ready for it. The city of Detroit reached a 7.5 million settlement with Devontae Sanford. Support us for more videos.